Welcome back to Beyond the Sprue and before we get down to this week's new releases I have a question for you. In what year did the first plastic model kits become available? A 1932, B 1936, C 1942 or D 1946? Please watch until the end and I'll tell you the answer. Bound to be popular with many modellers is Thunder Model's announcement of a new tooling of a heavy wrecker in 135 scale. If you've been after a Zonda Kraft by Stoic 251 in 135 scale, look no further, it's your lucky day. Border Models have announced a new tooling on exactly that. If you are after a Fiat Uno in 143 scale, look no further because Racing 43 have announced they're going to be making one. Hobby Link have made a M76 Otter in 135. If you can get beyond the box art, it actually looks quite good. OKB Grigioff are making a Soviet heavy tank, the KV5. Comes with resin parts and metal parts. Exciting news from Mini Art, they're producing with full interior an M3 Stuart. Photo etched parts are included and the full interior is accurately represented. Comes with clear plastic parts. All the hatches can be assembled in open and closed position. And comes with four schemes. The 144 infused us amongst us would be happy to see that Pit Road are making an M1A2 Sep Abrams Tusk 1 tank. IBG models are making a new 172 kit of the DAC Mark 1 British Armoured Card. Kit includes the interior of the turret and the hull in 172. Model Factory Hero are producing an Arbard 1000 SP in 112 scale. Full detailed kit comes with photo etched parts, turned metal parts, springs. Italeria produced in 124 a new Scania 770S V8. The kit comes with the ability to make two schemes and some photo etch and clear parts. Meng model are releasing a very nice looking McLaren MP44 F1 and that is in 124 scale. Other nice miniatures have announced some new figures World War II US Infantry in 135 scale. These are available individually or in pairs. Mini Art are producing some refugees in 135 scale. One Man Shipyard are producing a new tug in 144 scale, the Amica. The instructions say it is a very small model with charming shapes and a large amount of very small detail. It will help you experience an interesting modeling adventure. Model for advanced modelers requires a lot of sensitivity, patience, work with an airbrush under a magnifying glass and a thoughtful painting strategy. Good luck with painting the sailors. ICM models are producing two midget submarine of the Krugs Marine Fleet in 172 scale. Comes with four different markings and has a high level of detailing. Okay, B. Grigoroff are also producing some submarines and these are in 1350 scale. It's uh, resin and comes with six pieces. Big Plane Kits have put out an announcement about the E7A wedge tail model which was due to be released. Uh, they have said that we are unable to sell this model at this stage in large quantities. One of the moulds has failed. We have some quantities only for retail sales. If you want one, get in touch quick. Italeria have announced some new moulds for their AMX Ghibli that's been coming out in the summer in 172 scale. Italeria have also announced they're going to be bringing out a JU87 Stuka and this is going to be the G1 to complement their G2 they made before. This will be made in 148. Some of you may remember the announcement by Clearprop of a unmanned aerial vehicle. Uh, there we've got a bit more information now. It's going to come out with four different schemes. Mark 1 models are making a Hawk Attempters Mark 5 in several different schemes, and that's in 144 scale. 
as well as the hawker tempters they are also producing some mosquitoes you will have the choice of several different schemes once again all in one for four time for a bit of fun Koto Bugio are producing a Ace Combat ADF-01 this is a model from the game Ace Combat and I've included it because I actually thought it looked pretty cool so if you've been following mini art series of the P47D and the subsequent releases, the next instalment is coming very soon. It comes with several different options uh, of schemes, including orange tiles, photo etch parts, clear plastic parts, the high detail, engine and combat compartments, and all this in a lovely 148 scale. Mark 1 models are making a new Piper L4 in six different schemes and that's going to be in a 144 scale. In what year did the first plastic model kits become available? Well, if you said B1936, you would have been correct. If you know what company made the first model kits and what the range was called, please could you put a note in the comments and let me know. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.